Hey there, what's going on? So you now have Windows 11. Maybe you just got a new computer or maybe you just did a fresh install and now you're thinking, I want to manage my email. Now, yes, you could manage your email uh, through a browser. Maybe you're using Gmail and you're going to gmail.com. That's perfectly fine. I do that all the time. Uh, maybe you're using Yahoo Mail. And again, you're going to just go to Yahoo Mail and uh, mail.yahoo.com and manage your mail from there. That's fine too. But if you want to use an app and you want to use one that's included with your Windows 11, guess what? Microsoft Outlook. It's completely free and it is included with Microsoft Windows 11. All right. So uh, I'm Sean. I'm the Tech Gremlin Warrior. And yes, today we are going to set up Microsoft Outlook. So let's jump over and take care of this. All right. So we have our Windows 11 open. We're going to go down to the Start menu, lower left hand corner. And when we hover over the start menu, it says start. All right, we're going to click on start. Automatically, it's going to just open up right there in search. You can just immediately start typing. So we're just going to start typing Outlook. And the very first thing that comes up, again, as I've said in other videos, as a general rule, the best match is going to be what you're looking for. Not always. Again, as a general rule. And so we're going to click on Outlook app. Now, I do not have Outlook installed yet or uh, configured yet. So we're, we're at the screen to actually connect uh, an actual email account. All right. And as you can see, when we open this up, we can either set up uh, an Outlook.com email. You know, you can actually get a, you know, you at Outlook.com or the Tech Gremlin Warrior at Outlook.com if I wanted to. Uh, you can connect Gmail. You can connect Yahoo. Uh, we have another one here. I'm not really sure what this cloud is here. Um, that's probably Microsoft 365 is what I'm guessing. But you can connect any of these accounts to your Outlook. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually connect the Tech Gremlin Warrior at Gmail. We're gonna we're gonna connect my Gmail account. Okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on continue. And immediately it's asking us to log in. I'm already logged in. So um, but it's wanting to choose an account. All right. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll click on the account. Just because we want to just use what it's the pop-ups that are coming with this this whole install process. Okay, see how it's saying here: sign into Microsoft Apps and Services. Basically, uh, it's you know we're letting it know, yeah, we, we're doing this, and we want uh, the our Outlook account to manage this Gmail account. So we're going to go ahead and click on Continue. All right. So now what we're going to do is click on Select All. Then we're going to scroll all the way down. I'm just going to leave everything as is, and I'm going to click on continue. And uh, we have a pop-up. Sure. I'm just going to go ahead and, and click on this box. Open. Okay. So it's taking us to sign in. Setting things up. Sure. Just going to click on next. And nah, we're not going to let them. We don't need to send optional data. You can say uh, no. And then accept, and then uh, powering your experiences. We'll just click on continue, and then apply settings. Okay. So what it's doing here is it's actually opening up Outlook uh, .office .com. All right, and we've got <laughs> some spam coming in here. It looks like it's an ad. Uh, now watch what happens. We're going to go ahead and minimize, and boom, it's already set up. And now we're ready to go. We now have Outlook all ready to go. You can now uh, create emails, read emails. Any email that goes to your Gmail account is going to be here. You can actually write emails from here and you can manage your whole Gmail account right from here. Now, if you wanted to, you could add another account and how that would look is you would have another heading here. Right now, this is for um, it's, I'm, I'm hovering over it. I was hoping it would show me the whole account name when I hovered over it. Uh, there it went. There. Uh, the Tech Gremlin Warrior at gmail.com. Now, when we add an account, it would be the Tech Gremlin Warrior if, at yahoo.com if I was adding that one. If I owned it and was adding that one, I would add it here. And then I would have a drop down for that. And the same thing, I'd have an inbox for that. I'd have all these different folders for it. Uh, and then 
you know, everything that's associated with that account would be underneath that drop down. Okay. So we can minimize it and just like this favorites here and work with the, the additional account just like that all in Outlook. Okay. Super, super cool. So that's how you set up your Microsoft Outlook on Windows 11. Now, if you're really enjoying these videos, we have a whole playlist on Windows 11. Uh, check it out. Subscribe to the Tech Gremlin Warrior. That way you'll never miss one of the cool videos that we put out. And that's it for right now, everybody. Thanks for watching.